Hi families, it's Mr. Watson with today's math video update. Today we are talking about lesson 6.2 and we are breaking apart three digit numbers in order to be able to add them more easily. This is something we did back in chapter 4 with two digit numbers. So the kids took to it pretty quickly and pretty easily. Um, there's a one or two little twists that we'll talk about as we go on, but they were doing this with great enthusiasm today, so hopefully you'll see that tonight as well. Uh, what we want to do is we've got a problem like 425 plus 232, and we're going to take each of those numbers and break them apart into hundreds, tens, and ones. So for example, 425 will be 400 plus 20 plus 5. Uh, 232 will be 200 plus 30 plus 2. And then you just go and you do the downs on all of these. Um, we were starting from the left and the hundreds. I would actually start, uh, if you can think to remind them, start on the right tonight and start with the ones because that's what we're going to wind up doing in the long run anyway. 5 plus 2 is 7. 20 plus 30. We've talked a lot about if you know 2 plus 3 is 5, you know 20 plus 30 is 50. Same kind of thing. If you know 4 plus 2 is 6, then you know 400 plus 200 is is 600. And if you hear the emphasis in my voice, that helps actually for them to um, understand it. And we did a lot of problems like this, 600 plus 50 plus 7 equals, and they should be able to put that together as 657. Okay? So if you remember this from last time uh, when we were doing the two digit numbers, it shouldn't be a problem. One thing I want to show you is a situation where it doesn't go quite that smoothly and there is the equivalent of regrouping, and we're not actually regrouping. Pardon my back while I erase the problem here, and we'll start set up a new problem for us. And now we're going to do 374 plus 518, and it goes pretty smoothly and very much the same way as the last one. 374 is 300 plus 70 plus 4, 518 is 500, plus 10, plus 8, and then we start doing our downs, 4 plus 8 is 12, 70 plus 10 is 80, and 300 plus 500 is 800. And here's where we started to see some problems, because this 12 isn't a single digit number. So you have to be on the lookout for this, and it did trip them up quite a bit today. I got all kinds of interesting combinations of numbers when they had to do this. Uh, you'll see 8,812 8, 8, will be a common answer, things like that. So you have to take them through the way we talked about, uh, talked it through in class. You have to think 800 plus 80, that's easy, 80, 880, plus 10 more, 890, plus 2 more, 892. If you break these problems down, and that's what this whole lesson is about, into the little pieces that they can do mentally, the idea is to say, hey, look, you're taking a problem that might be normally quite difficult, and you're actually able to do it mentally and get that confidence going in them so that when we do start doing these problems and they have to start doing the regrouping and everything, this part of it will be almost second nature, and so we'll double checking it. Okay? So, that's it for today. Good luck tonight with the homework, and we'll see you in school tomorrow.